Okay, this is just going to be a simple uh, tutorial on how to read Volkswagen diagrams, wiring diagrams. Uh, the top part is usually the um, fuse box, uh, relay box, and or also just the positive, and then at the bottom is always the ground side. So you, the way to read them is from top to bottom, but again, it all depends on what you're looking at. So here, for instance, you got the control unit, J220. Uh, J220 according to the legend Motronic Engine Control Unit or ECM uh, and these here are the injectors N30, 31, 32, 33, cylinder 1, 2, 3, and 4 so the way to see or follow the wiring diagram here since we all know that the injectors are all grounded by the engine control unit so this must be the ground side these are the injectors themselves and this is the power side because all of them are fed the same power uh, so that you follow the power wire here to uh, the box here that says 16 and that just means that this wire continues on circuit track 16 these are the track numbers at the bottom of the wiring diagram um, so 16 is on 33 so what you do is you look go to track 16 and look for a 33 because this 16 is on 33 so here we are at number 16 we scroll up until we find or move up until we find a 33 here's a 33 right here so 33 don't again this is the power side for those injectors red blue is the same wire we scroll up to here it enters the fuse box at Z1 and it connects to A now you want to know where A goes you scroll across to the side continue A here meets up with this which is S18 fuse 18 this should be fuel pump fuse uh, can't scroll down far enough here uh, but anyways doesn't matter right now we continue to the left and here's J17 which is a fuel pump relay it should show that J17 fuel pump relay which makes total sense a fuel pump relay once energized feeds the uh, fuel injectors uh, 30 is battery power all the time 15 is ignition circuit key on X is load reduction relay side or uh, well not load reduction basically and uh, 31 is ground um, so 30 battery power all the time comes down through the fuse box through the red yellow wire enters the fuse box at this location hits the uh, fuel pump relay once the fuel pump relay is uh, grounded by the control unit the fuel pump relay closes and supplies power along circuit A and down to fuse 18. Fuse 18 uh, can, supplies power to a couple of components here. Two, the one component continues on track 10, the other one on 34. So we find, in order to find where this one goes, we go to track 10. We have to remember where this box is. So we scroll down, this box is on track 12. So we go to track 10 and look for a 12. There's an 11 here and a 12 here. So this 10 continues here, goes through the O2 heater circuit to this box here which is 11. And we go to track 11 over here and look for track 10. That would be this one here. So the O2 heater circuit, <coughs> ground side, remember it's always top is power, bottom is ground. Uh, and you can tell also from the color code, brown is usually uh, ground wire. So this O2 circuit gets grounded at 11, or it continues at 11, which is over here, number 10, because this is on track 10, and it grounds internally in the control unit. A bit confusing initially, but it's fairly straightforward. You just basically look for the track number that matches the others. For instance, this wire here goes, continues on track 7. We're on track 6. We look for 7 over here. We go up, and here's track 6. So this wire connects to this here, which is your hall sensor. Same thing here for 74. Uh, 74 is on 7, so we click on 74. At 74, we look up for a 7. There is a 7 right here. So this continues here, which is G22. Speedometer vehicle speed sensor. So this is the power side for the speed sensor. And then again, the ground side always at the bottom. And you can see here the grounds 15, 137, 15.